A fiery horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty high of silver, the Lone Ranger. Nowhere in the written history of the United States will you find the name of the Lone Ranger, most picturesque and colorful character ever to ride the plains and prairies of the Old West. No one ever knew where he came from, nor where he went. The Lone Ranger was a phantom figure, a masked rider of justice who rode the trails of long ago to right the wrongs of the oppressed. People of seven states had thrilled to his daring actions. Though the history books have forgotten him, the early pioneers will always remember his courageous spirit, which so typified the nation builders of yesteryear. Listen to those silver shot hoofs. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come on, Silver, old boy. That's it, old fellow. Stretch up those great legs of yours. Devil's waiting for us. Hello, Silver. The cattlemen of the West banded together to keep the sheep raisers off the rangelands, but found they'd have to fight stiff opposition. Tonight's Lone Ranger adventure concerns, as its central figure, Amos Franklin, who owned thousands of sheep which grazed on the open range surrounding the town of Mariposa. As our first scene opens, we see Vince Bennett and his friend Scar Gordon, the outlaw, riding through the night toward the direction of Franklin's home. Think we went far enough with our job, Gordon? Sure thing. That sheep herd Amos Franklin won't start something now, or he never will. It'll be pretty late when we get to his house. Hope he'll be there. Where else could he go? You know, Vince, how much you'd be welcome around the town, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> Being a man in town wouldn't enjoy starting an argument with Franklin. Well, said argument would lead to bullets. One less sheep herder to spoil the land for cattle. Yeah. Gordon. Huh? I've been doing some thinking. Well? Who was it that gave you that scar on your face? What's it to you? I'm just asking. Bull McPherson. Why? Big cattle man, ain't he? Yeah. The scar ain't all they done to me. Made us a hot for me. I don't dare show myself around any man's ranch. Size of a price on your head. Well, I'll get along with that prodding cattle. I wonder if your scheme in fixing the Franklin sheep ain't just partly for cash profit and part for revenge on Bull McPherson. What do you care, Vince? As long as you get paid. I don't. A man can be curious, though, can he? If he ain't too much so. It's just as well if a man minds his own affairs. Sure. Get up there. Get along with it. Hope the cash return from this scheme of yours is as big as you say it's to be. Listen, Vince, don't you worry about that. If we don't get rich from this job I got planned, my name ain't Scott Gordon. Maybe your name ain't that. Huh? A plenty of men left their real names east of the Mississippi. Oh, there's Franklin's place. The scheme is for me to go on ahead, ain't it? Yes, so. See that you pose as a cattleman and carry it off in good shape. I am to make old Franklin shell out some of his hidden cash money. Uh, you wait here. Come on, boy. Come on. Get up there. Come on. Oh. Hold there. Whoa. Whoa, boy. Like the old galoots of bed. Yeah, uh, I'll wake him pronto. Hey there. Hey there, Franklin. 
Amos, you there? Who's there? Open up. I'm from the South Range with word for you. Just a minute. I've read all the way here to pass a warning to you. Warning? I've had them before. Yeah, well, get this. Your doggone sheep spoiled the North Range for cattle. What's more, they've been at all the good watering places around here, so a cow can't get a drink no more. It ain't my fault if cows are so pernickety. They won't drink where the sheep's been. No? What's more, I got as much right here as any cow man has, and I aim to stay here. Amos, this is the last warning. You'll find your herder hogtied, his dog shot, and no end of sheep on the backs and gullies. I reckon they won't last very long. Why, you, you ornery... That's the last time you get warnings. Next time, it'll be you the boys will come for. That's all I got to say. Think it over and pull stakes. Just think it over mighty good. You dog killer, you ornery coyote. Dad ratted snake, you. Uh, Injun, did you hear what that polecat's done? Uh, I don't hear. Uh, killed my dog. Broke my herder, put no end of sheep on the back so they can't get up on the feet again. You got plenty good sheep. Most valuable breeze there is. Me go, find herder, cut rope. No, no, Injun. You read in here, tuck it out from a two days' travel. I told you you could bed down my place and get a needed rest. Now you do just that. I'll get my boots on, go and untie Sam. Other rider come. Maybe the same one coming back again. Mm, this not same horse. This other horse. No one but an engine could tell horses hoofs like that. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Now who can that be? Hey there, Franklin. Call your name and state your business. Or I close this door and shove a rifle through the window. Take it easy. Well, here's your friend. Yeah? Well, I ain't got no friends around here, and I don't look to have none. Maybe you do for a surprise, then. I don't suppose you heard from any of the cattlemen yet, have you? Scar Gordon. The same. Uh, ain't it sort of risky for you to travel like this with the law hunting you? Well, I'd advise against own a gun on me to try and capture me for that reward money. What do you want here? I told you that I come as a friend. Well? I come and I'm making trouble for you. Maybe you don't know it yet. What's that to do with you? I ask your herder. He tell you that I found him roped and let him loose. You did? Sure. Where's he now? Tending his job and watching the sheep. Reckon he'd be able to save considerable of them by setting them back on their feet before it's too late. You done that? Sure I did. I ain't as black as them cattlemen as pictured me. Mm, maybe not. Fact is, Amos, I'd hanker to give you a hand in fighting them critters. The cattlemen? The same. How? I got a plenty of men lined up with me. For the most part, they're fellows like me that are hunted by the law. Yeah? Catch for a bar and a couple of cows and things like that. None of them really bad, you savvy. From what's been said, you're plenty bad. Well, folks misjudge me, Franklin. Now, if you aim to let them come and drive you out of here, all right. That's none of my affair. But if you aim to make a stand, you gotta have some help. They ain't driving me out. Then you better hire some guns. What about it? Now, that means a range war, don't it? Well, it's war or clear out. You can take your choice. I got as much right here as anyone. Sure you have. No matter where I go, it's always the same story. Then you may as well make a stand here and show the common that you aim to keep to your rights. By by hiring your men to fight for me, eh? Sure. That takes cash. Don't tell me that a man that's dealt in the quality stock you have for so many years ain't got cash. Maybe I have. But I just ain't sure I want to spend it for gunmen. But let's hear your proposition. Come on in there, Jenny. Tonto, the faithful Indian companion of the Lone Ranger, learned the purpose of Gordon's errand and realized that it might cause a range war. He left the sheep raisers home at once heading toward Franklin's flocks, where a herder kept watch through the lonely hours of the night. There, Tonto dismounted and spoke to the man. You... you get tired? Huh? Uh, yeah, you got tired. You find sheep on back? Yeah, try to. They can't get around and look for him. Ain't even got my dog left. The morning he snake come and uh, tied me... Me, me no. You wait, Injun. I want to send word. I, I can't leave the sheep. I want to let my boss know... Get him up, white fire. While Tonto raced on toward the distant camp of the Lone Ranger, Amos Franklin finally agreed to a deal with Scar Gordon the outlaw. We find Scar one hour later as he draws his horse to a halt at a camp in the dry arroyo. 
His friend, Vince Bennett, and the rest of his gang are awaiting him. Lascar, how'd you make out? Good as can be expected. Hey, you men, wake up. Turn out. I got some word for you. I told the boys you'd be coming here before daybreak. Can't you let a man get some sleep? There's plenty of time to sleep when we get our cash. Listen, boys, I got a job lined up. We got Vince Bennett here lined up with us. He proved downright valuable because he can go and come as he darn pleases in the town, being as he ain't wanted by the law. Well, what about it? What good will that do us? Now, listen to me and you're savvy. Amos Franklin aims to start a range war. That ornery sheep herder? Well, he maybe is, but he deals in quality sheep. Every one of them critters of his is valuable. He's a sheepman nonetheless. Take it easy, boys, and hear the scheme through. He wants to hire the lot of us to fight for him. He's got a plenty of money to spend, boys. That ain't all. If we clean out the cattlemen, we no longer have to be afraid of showing ourselves in town. You see what I'm getting at? The chance to wipe all the common out and get paid for it, huh? And top it off by taking over their cattle. Scar, is that what you plan to do? Why not? But if that's what you was after, why didn't you just attack the common in the first place? Yeah? Have them call out the army to wipe us out? They can still do it. Sure. But you don't think they will, do you? Well, I... Listen, Vince. A common would likely call troops to help put a pack of outlaws on the run. But it'd hurt their pride too deep if they call out the soldiers to lick a sheep herder. Oh, I said it. Even if they won, they'd never hear the end of it. They'd be the laughing stock of everyone in the West. Calling troops to lick an ornery sheep man. <laughs> Ain't likely to. Pretty slick, I'd call it. That's the best scheme I ever heard of. You like a scheme, boys? You get Amos Franklin's cash. Everyone's cattle and the houses as well. We just take over the country. That's it. And when we're finished with the cowmen, then we'll drive the sheepmen out. How's that? When do we start? Quiet, boys. No, quiet down. Let me finish. Go ahead. Let's hear the rest. We stay right here all day tomorrow. That gives Vince Bennett the chance to rile the cowmen up, you see? And tomorrow night, the fun begins. <laughs> In the meantime, Tonto urged his horse with utmost speed throughout the whole of the night. But it was daybreak before he reached the woodland clearing where the Lone Ranger was camped, miles from Amos Franklin's ranch. Oh, oh, that's all right. Oh. Oh. Well, I didn't look for you to be here so soon. Not plenty of trouble. Trouble? Range war. Plenty outlaw near town. What do you mean? Them start fight. You come fast. Tell me, Kimo Get him Bobby. silver. All right. I'll get silver ready to ride while you talk. Here, silver. Here, Come boy. I'll help you. Here. Here, saddle. All right, Tuttle. Now tell me what's going on. Scar Gordon and his outlaws are going to be hired by the sheep herder. Mm, that's right. And they're going to carry the fight to the cattlemen. Steady, Silver. Mm, that's right. Those cattlemen will never tolerate any opposition from Amos Franklin. No. And the outlaws will see to it that the fight is anything but fair. The Gordon gang is in this for what they can get out of it. Sheep men, pay them cash. They'll get more than cash. Before they finish, they'll have wiped out all the cattlemen. Uh. They probably won't attack today. They'll wait till after dark tonight. It'll take us almost all day to get there. Now, if those men attack tonight, they'll catch the cattlemen unprepared. Oh, that? I see their plan, Tonto. Tonight, almost every cowman will be in town celebrating payday. They'll have all their guns checked with the sheriff. That will be an ideal time for the outlaws to strike. Huh? What? What we do, huh? We'll think it over, Kimo Sabi. Yep. Well, we ride. hi The curtain falls on the first act of tonight's Lone Ranger drama. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments. Now to continue our story. You will recall that in the first act of tonight's Lone Ranger drama, the outlaw Scar Gordon convinced Amos Franklin that the cattlemen of the district planned to destroy the sheep raiser's flock. 
Franklin hired Gordon and his men to defend him. But Gordon's plan included more than that. He hoped to run the cattlemen off the range and seize their herds. That accomplished, he expected to turn on Franklin and steal his sheep. Tonto, however, had overheard the conversation between Franklin and Gordon, and he repeated the fact to the Lone Ranger. Our next scene opens in the office of Sheriff Conway of Mariposa. The sheriff is speaking with a rancher, Bull McPherson. You may be the biggest cattleman this side of Pecos, McPherson, but you're not going to bulldoze me into driving Franklin away from here. But, Sheriff, he's ruined the range for cattle. Can't you see that? Well, what of it? What of it? That's what I said. If the north uh, range of town is ruined, then it ain't no good to you, is it? No. All right, then. Why don't you let him stay there? You know, your critters wouldn't go near none of the water on the north range now. Thanks to them ornery no good sheep. Just so. Now, if we drive Amos away, what's he going to do? He'll just move somewhere else and spoil that land, won't he? There ought to be a law against sheep. Well, there ain't no law against them, so we got to tolerate them. Now, you got a plenty land south of town, and so is every other common. Stay there and be content, and leave Amos do the same. As long as he don't move south. Bull, if he makes any play to spread out south with them long-haired sheep of his'n, then I'll see that he's put back where he belongs. Made a promise? It's a sure enough promise. Now then, as to the shindig tonight. Be a big party, I reckon. Mind that all your waddies check their shooting irons. Ain't they always done so when they come to town? Mm-hmm. Maybe so. But the fact remains that the last payday, there was some shooting in the cafe. Not by my boys. Well, there ain't to be none tonight, Savvy. I'll tell the boys, Sheriff. Howdy, Sheriff. Hello, boy. Mm. Hello, Vince. What are you coming to my office for? Ain't seeking law, are you, Vince? No, I ain't. I come here with some news for you. Yeah? That sheep herder, Amos Franklin... Now, don't you say you want him drove out. You ain't no cattle to worry about, have you? No. Ain't been so easy to borrow a hunk of rope with a cow tied to one end since I took over the law around here, has it? Can't you never forget a man's mistake? I sort of keep it in the back of my mind, Vince. Just to make sure that mistake ain't made again. Now, what do you got to tell me? Franklin is getting too doggone ambitious for his own good. Yeah. He tried to hire me. You? What would any man want to hire you for, Vince? To help him handle sheep. He aims to be moving southward. All he's got to do is to let them sheep of his drink from springs on the cattle range and said range is done for as far as cattle is concerned. Why, that ornery no good. Hold on now, Bull. Give me back my shooting iron. Not so fast. I changed my plans. I ain't going to the shindig at the cafe. I got business to take care of. Shut down, you overgrown galoot. That ain't all, Sheriff. Amos is boasting that he'll show the cattlemen where to head in. It's high time he got dealt with. Oh, they ain't no hurry, Bull. He said he didn't figure he'd be ready to have me start to work for another week or so. He said... Who's that? Never heard his voice before. Sheriff. Miss! Great guns, what? Who are you? Come, Sheriff. You'll need to arrest the killer. Where? Franklin's place. Who? Amos Franklin. Leaping catfish. You mean to say he's killed a man? Come and see for yourself. Who's he done for? Bring a posse and come along. It'll soon be dark. I'm riding with you. Doggone, if we can throw that critter into the calaboose, it's going to save no end of trouble. I'll go, too. I've left him tied for you. I'm all set. Hey, Pete! Pete, come here. We gotta head for Franklin's place. Here, what's up? Uh, keep that masked man covered. Who's he? Don't know, but aim to find out. Stranger, you better take your mask off. Do your duty first. Then if you want to investigate me, you can do so. But you... I'll wait for you at Franklin's house. Hold on! Hold on! He's he's running away from you. Get him. Maybe he's an outlaw. Should I take a shot? No, you blame fool. You can't shoot a man for being masked. Get your horse and chase him. Come on now, let's travel. Who the Sam Hill was he? Find out by and by. Get up there. Get up there. Time. Where's that white horse, the masked man, Reed? I'm inside the house waiting for you. And we're right after you. Gosh, I never figured Amos would shoot anybody. Well, this is a friend. How do you do? There's your prisoner. What do you got to say for yourself, Amos? Why, I... Speak up. I reckon it ain't no use of my saying anything. 
I ain't no chance of getting a jury of cattlemen. Thunderation, Sheriff. He's played right into our hands. That Injun, the man you shot? I I didn't shoot him. Then who did? I don't know. Donald came here last night, didn't he? Yeah, said he was traveling. And I give him a place to sleep and some food. Then he rid away. Can you prove he rode away? Well, I... That is, uh... Was anyone here with you at the time? Yeah. Scar Gordon. He was... Who? Scar Gordon? Well, I... What was that outlaw doing here? Why didn't you capture him and get the reward? Oh, gents, there ain't no use. Nothing I can say will help me. Hey, what, what did Vince Bennett leave her? Huh? He just went outside. There he is, boarding his horse. Oh, leave him go. We got to take the prisoner to jail. Hey, come on, Amos. Now, gents, I swear I didn't have no hand in murder. I don't know a thing about it. Tell that to the judge. And jury. And the hangman. Here's where one sheep herder gets done away with, good and legal. <laughs> it's too bad the rest of them ain't spunk enough to do a little shooting. <laughs> Vince Bennett left the group at Franklin's home and rode swiftly to a point near town where Gordon and his men were gathered. Scar! Scar! What's the matter? Didn't you do what you were supposed to do in town? Yeah. Only they got to change things. What do you mean? That blame fool Franklin. Listen here, Bennett. You was to stop around the sheriff's office and get the idea planted that Amos Franklin aimed to transfer his sheep to the South Range. That's what I done. And he was to tell the men that he didn't figure on doing that same right away. I told him that. Well, all the men were at the shindig tonight. We figured to attack. Won't you let me tell you? Amos Franklin is in jail. What? What's he in jail for? Quiet down, you fellas. Well, then, Bennett, let me get the true facts. You say Franklin was in jail? That's right. When was he took there? Just a few minutes ago. I went to his place with the sheriff and Bull McPherson and a deputy. What did he do? He killed an engine. Killed an engine? I didn't think that cheap herder had dumped it enough to in kill... In jail for murder? That's right. That's your fine state of affairs. Don't you see? We can't attack now. We can't make the cowman think that Amos is figuring on expanding his sheep land with him in jail for murder. No, sure not. Besides that... He won't be able to pay us. It ain't so much the money he was to pay as the cows we figured on getting. But now it's the same as if we attacked the cowmen as a band of outlaws. Don't you see? Let me think. Shut your trap a minute, won't you? Yeah, sure. McPherson and the rest of the cattlemen will know that we ain't working for Amos Franklin now. That means they'll likely call the troopers out to fight against us. That's just it. All right, gents. The plan is changed. What are we going to do now, Scar? We're going into town just as we aim to do. Yeah? Then what? We're going to the jail and get Amos Franklin out. My thunder, that's an idea. We get him out. That proves to the cowman that we're working for him. Then with him along with us, we go ahead as planned, you see? Now get together, boys. We're heading for town pronto. Uh, steady, boy. Hiya. Oh, follow me. Get up there. The outlaws moved into town according to their changed plans. They made their way in groups of two and three to avoid being noticed and took advantage of the covering shadows of the night. We see Scar Gordon and Vince Bennett as they approach their destination, the jail. There's the calaboose. All dark and quiet. Sure. Do you think our man's there? Sure he is. Where else would he be? Well, the, the cattlemen might have lynched him. No. In the first place, there'd be more excitement if anything like that was going on. It seems so. In second place, Sheriff wouldn't tolerate that. Maybe you're right at that. He's in there all right enough. It'll be a cinch to get him out. And we can go ahead with the plans and the common will call it a range war instead of an outlaw attack. You see me? Sure. Wait till I make sure the other boys are in place. Butch. All set, boss. Now for the other side. Hank. Waiting for the word from you. 
Close in and pass the word to them beyond you. Right, boss. Come on, Vince. I'm right with you. We'll close in from all sides. Yeah. You and me take care of the guard. There's the guard. <laughs> Come on, man. You hold a gun on him while I gag him. Heist him, you. What matter? A, a redskin. You may be making a mistake, huh? Why, th this is the one... Me, fella, you think dead. What's the matter? This is the redskin Amos was supposed to have shot. What's he doing here? Me help set trap. Outlaw, come get prisoner. A trap! I'll show you. Not so bad. Oh. Oh. Come in, guys. You got to cover the trick. Shoot your white player. Take the men. Come on, boy. On his side. Hurry up. We got every man of you covered. You better surrender. Don't shoot. Don't shoot. I give up. Throw down your gun. Your honor is scheming, polecats. Try and trick me, will you? Look here. What's this? Listen, Sheriff. You listen, Scar. We know your plan, Savvy. Vince Bennett double-crossed me. Nope. He's to be jailed with the rest of you. You see, that masked man and the engine learned your plan and told Amos the whole truth. So the engine played dead like he'd been shot to get me in jail. After Vince was here, the engine and the masked man came up and told me the whole story. So we just waited here for you rats to show yourself. Tricked by a doggone sheep herder. And for that job, the sheep herder can use the North Range as long as he blames Lisa. Yeah, if it hadn't been for him, we cattlemen would have had a plenty of trouble on our hands. Amos, for the first time, it'll be welcome at the Shindigan town. Come on with us. You boys throw them outlaws in the jail. Oh, Jenks, I, I don't want no shindig. I reckon if you don't mind, I'll go keep old Sam company while he watches the sheep. What's more, don't give me no credit. Thank the Lone Ranger. <laughs> have just heard is a copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated.